Hey guys, JBuilds here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble this V-slot gantry plate um, that uses these stainless steel wheels with bearings in inside that slide into a V-slot aluminum extrusion. This particular one is a open build V-slot aluminum extrusion um, that is very commonly used with 3D printers if you're familiar with them. Um, I'm going to be using this in my table saw fence system so I just wanted to make a separate video just covering how to assemble the plate itself. So here are the parts that we're going to be using to assemble this gantry plate. We have four of these stainless steel wheels um, that have double bearings pressed inside of them. Uh, and then you'll notice that they have a dust cap on either side just to protect the bearing itself and then these will basically slide in your v-slot extrusion we also have four uh, of the m5 hex screws which you can use a three millimeter allen wrench on and then i have four uh, m5 flat washers along with uh, four of the m5 lock nuts and then you notice four spacers and two of them um, look like this where these ones are called the eccentric spacers um, and if you look closely you'll see that the hole inside of them is slightly offset and one side is significantly thinner or, or at least the outer wall is significantly thinner than the other side so basically as you rotate this thing you can adjust the gap that you have between the wheel and the aluminum extrusion um, and get a really nice tight fit between the wheel so you have good smooth movement and I'll cover that in a little bit when we get to the adjustment portion next I have two of these uh, flat aluminum spacers these will basically go on the opposite side away from the eccentric spacers on the plate um, and this is the aluminum plate that, that you see here um, both sides are the same but you will notice that the two holes on one side are larger um, and those bigger holes are basically for the eccentric spacers they have a slight um, lip there that will basically sit inside that hole and actually if you can probably see it better here um, the way that these are designed that you can see that as I turn um, turn that eccentric spacer right now it's farthest away from the center so you'll have the largest gap between your wheel and the, and the profile and then as I turn this um, in either direction it actually moves it closer to the center hence decreasing your gap and then um, that's basically it in terms of the materials like I said you'll need a three millimeter allen wrench you'll need an eight millimeter um, wrench for the m5 lock nuts and then you'll need a 10 millimeter wrench for adjusting the eccentric spacers okay so let's start assembling i'm going to assemble this a little bit differently than um, how it's used in the 3d printer cnc application just because of the way my design is so you guys can follow along so you see the two larger holes that i showed you guys here um, we're going to start with our eccentric spacer push that in there and then we're going to take our screw um, we're going to take a flat washer, put that on there, and then, actually let's do this a little bit difficult with one hand, we got our screw here, I'm going to put my flat washer in here, so your flat washer will basically interface between your bearing and your eccentric spacer, we're going to shove that there, and just loosely tighten using your M5 lock nut. And then we're going to repeat this process on the other side, eccentric spacer um, is in here, put the flat spacer here, put this through here. loosely um, now you can go to the other side we're going to use these two corner holes in the corner um, same thing here we are going to take our 
take our screw, put that through there. Then we're gonna take our washer, and then we're just gonna simply put our um, spacer through there as well. I'm gonna put that in this fourth hole, and just tighten this guy. There you go. And last but not least, um, we're gonna do the same thing here. Put the bearing in there, put your flat washer, your spacer, put that through here. And loosely tighten again. Now you'll see um, you have two flat spacers. These are the two flat space, aluminum spacers on one side. And then on the opposite side or here, um, if I turn it like this, you have the two adjustable um, eccentric spacer. So we have to be careful when we go to actually install this on our front slider that we have, we keep the front, these adjustable um, eccentric spacers towards the front so we can adjust them later if we need to and keep these towards the back. Uh, but basically uh, in order to adjust this, what we can do is, here's our slot rail um, first I'm actually going to tighten down these because these are our fixed points like these will remain fixed and then these will adjust up and down depending on how we need them so I'm going to go ahead and, and tighten these down again this is my eight millimeter wrench and my three millimeter allen key I'm just going to tighten this down first like so and then not super tight just um, snug it down make sure you're not damaging the spacer itself while we're tightening it. There we go. Now, make sure there's obviously no loose movement here. Nothing loose. Um, you can freely spin the wheel at the same time. Same here. So these are our fixed positions now. Now we need to worry about adjusting this side. All right, now we're gonna start adjusting this. Before you do that, um, I mentioned those indentations on the eccentric spacers before you can see them here and here. Um, I have these on the top right now facing away from the aluminum spacer so they're facing away from them. That basically means that um, you're going to have the greatest gap in here. If I have them facing towards the aluminum spacer that would be the smallest gap I can get. So I'm going to start out with the biggest gap and then put my extrusion in and then I can turn these you know towards the aluminum spacer to reduce the gap and tighten up. Um, the other thing you wanna do is just tighten these two down ever so slightly so that the whole bearing um, is not loose. I have them tightened down just a little bit so I can still um, you know, insert my profile. And here's my profile. You can see there's our V-slot profile. Um, I'm going to insert it. So I have my two eccentric spacers here. I'm gonna insert it like so. And you can see there's already a lot of gap where we can fix that. So once your profile is in, um, you wanna see, just make sure, you know, you'll notice obviously that, you know, there's side to side movement. And that's what we wanna account for now. Um, when I move this, this profile, you can see that just some of the wheels aren't even making contact, like this wheel's not even making contact. That one's not making contact. So. Basically, our aim is to lower, you see these two eccentric spacers, our aim is to lower these down um, so they, you know, rip tighter into the into the V-slot extrusion. To do that, um, I'm going to take my 10 millimeter wrench and I'm going to start on one side and just kind of turn it until I feel the resistance. It's a little bit better. I'm feeling slightly more resistance. I can still go a little bit more. There we go. That's perfect. And you can see both of these wheels are spinning as I move it. Basically, you should be able to turn the wheel and force the thing to move. Or if, if it's resting like this, I should be able to turn this wheel and force, um, force the extrusion to move. Then you know you're getting a proper 
um, amount of tension there, but you don't want to over tighten it because then you could start digging in and possibly damaging your extrusion. So it has to be just the right amount. Um, and then you'll notice that this side, I can still move it side to side. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's side to side movement across here, not here, but here. Um, because I haven't obviously adjusted this side. So let's do that and tighten this guy down here slowly. There we go. I think I can feel it. Maybe a little bit more, just a little bit. There we go. That's perfect. Yep. And then just to make sure that I can still move this one. You can see I can still adjust that here. I can adjust that here. Now, um, we still need to tighten down these last two because I remember I told you not to fully tighten them before. So what we're gonna do is tighten this guy down here. And make sure you don't actually, you're not spinning your uh, eccentric spacer while you do that. There we go, that's good. And same thing here. adjusted making good contact no make sure there's no side to side movement like just you know cross diagonally or the other way um you should be able to slide this smoothly you do have to be a little bit careful when you first insert your extrusion um because the edges are kind of sharp so make sure that you don't actually hurt yourself but you can see how see how i just did that basically you kind of just line up the center and just slowly push it through and yep there it is fully adjusted so that's it that's all i have for this video guys um this is kind of an introductory or setup video just to kind of separately show how to assemble this thing